I have two inspections to do today. <laughs> Yo, what is that? Charles, are you eating your lunch? Why don't you cut your hair? Why don't you cut your hair? I'm cutting my hair. Family, family, side family. Hey guys, what's going on? It's your girl Future RJ here opening up the vlog. Leasing, there was no beginning for this vlog. And you'll find out why when you continue to watch. So I'm going to read the scripture of the day for you right now. It comes from Hebrews chapter 13 verse 16 and it says, And do not neglect doing good and sharing, for with such sacrifices God is pleased. Amen. Thank you, Jonathan. So I hope that you guys enjoy this vlog. I'm going to explain why it didn't have the uh, beginning, whatever. Just watch, okay? Enjoy. So it's a beautiful morning. Rudy and I dropped off Jonathan today with Larique and Charles because I have two inspections to do today. So, I mean, I figured we would just, you know, let Charles and Jonathan play together while I do the inspection. And I'm not sure what time I'm gonna go back home, but I'm very happy to be out of the house. The reason why I didn't want to post the, the footage from yesterday was that the, it was so whack. It was just basically me at home trying not to lose my mind. And I never like you guys seeing me like that. And then I tried to like cook a nice dinner and it came out stupid. So I was just like, you know, I just canceled the whole vlog. All right, so I'm going to go to work. I'm going to go get some Starbucks. I'm going to pick up some lunch for me and Larique. And it's going to be a wonderful day. Tell your heart to beat again Close your eyes and breathe it in Let the shadows fall away Step into the light of grace Yesterday is a closing door You don't live there anymore The inspection went really well. I was done by like 11.20, which was like 15 minutes it took for me to inspect two properties really proud of myself so I'm gonna get um, some Starbucks and then I'm gonna pick up Lomo Saltado for Larique and me and Charles and Jonathan I totally forgot that I could have been recording with my DSLR because her dashboard is that yo I'm so excited for the Starbucks Rudy and I came here last night and they closed on us at 918 they're supposed to close at 930 and they closed at 918 I was really upset Oh, ooh, let me get a little closer. Um, hi, may I have a grande cinnamon shortbread latte decaf with soy milk, please? Yeah, anything else? That's it. All right, do you want the whipped cream on there? No, thank you. All right, it's gonna be five sixty nine at the window. Thank you. Oh my gosh, they also have a new cloud macchiato. <laughs> yeah! Experience macchiato with our new fluffy and light cold foam. And then they have the iced cinnamon cloud macchiato, but those... That looks really milky. Your girl cannot... She cannot. Hey Charles! Are you eating your lunch? Like a good big boy? Yeah? Let's zoom in on what Larique is texting. No, I just asked this lady to help me find this car because every time I order a Hot Wheel car for Charles, it's really small. So, sure, her son, who's also 19 months, had this huge one. Mm -hmm. So, I was like, can you please tell me where you got it? It was a gift, so she sent me the car and the um, serial number. Oh, cool. Thanks. All right, guys. So, it is later in the day, and I'm here with Mr. Rooney, but saying, hey. What's up? We are on our way to the hair salon. I... I have been talking about losing my hair for a long time, as you guys know, and everyone has been so gracious as to giving, as to give me, as to giving whatever it is. People are giving me suggestions on, on what to do, but like the number one suggestion that people are giving me is to cut off my hair. And I'm like, this is exactly why I left my old salon because that's all the hairdresser was saying. Why don't you cut your hair? Why don't you cut your hair? Uh, lady, why don't you help me fix my hair? <laughs> so. Instead of just chopping it off and then continuing to have thin, short hair that's falling out, I'm just trying to do trims little by little and just like even out my hair um, and also try to figure out why it is falling out. So as you guys see, I have two pimples here. I think that my body is freaking out because um, the water challenge was so good for my body and I stopped rap. I stopped rap! And... 
So I feel like I'm dehydrated and that's why my hair has been falling out again. That could be one reason. A second reason could be that I, I am using a new relaxer and I forgot to give the hairdresser the right shampoo that goes with it. It's like a neutralizing shampoo and I forgot to give that to her. A third reason could be uh, stress and all that. I mean, there's so many variables, you know? But um, my mother suggested that I try the emergency repair by Nexus. And so I bought two of them joints, the shampoo and the conditioner. And I also have Coco and Eve. It's a leave-in thing. Um, so we're gonna try those today and see if my hair continues to just come out like it's it's really bad guys rudy dear i would really appreciate it if you helped me make an appointment to see my doctor to check my thyroid uh, okay. Yeah, the reason why I say help me is because, you know, just saying, hey, did you make the appointment? Doesn't, <laughs> that doesn't work. <laughs> I need actual help to make the appointment. But the thing is, like, I'm nervous. What do I do if the doctor's like, well, Ariane, there seems to be a problem with your <coughs> thyroid? Then you follow the doctor's instructions from there. Yeah, but that's serious. It's not like, well, Ariane, it looks like you have acne. Like, if the doctor said that, I'd be okay. The doctor says I have a thyroid problem? That's serious. That's like Wendy Williams level. Uh, I mean, I'm going to say it's Wendy Williams level, but, you know, we're going to try to just tackle it together. You know, we just take care of you. That's all we got to do. Yeah. And, you know, if you have to cut back on work, because stress will affect everything you For do. For sure. You know, do what you just got to do what you got to do. Yeah. And um, Agnes told me about a guy who can learn my photoshopping and editing so i'll look into hiring an editor too just so that i'm not so overwhelmed with work we'll see guys i'm cutting my hair it's her fault <laughs> no i'm kidding i'm the one who told her that i just want it to be even so that's what she's hey, doing a little now. better now yeah that's all i want I just, nice and healthy. Yeah, I just want it to look healthy while I work on it to actually be healthy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. My sister said I bought the wrong thing, by the way. Yeah. I bought the wrong... Um, I was supposed to buy a treatment. But it's good. Put the cinnamon, like I told you. Yeah. She told me to put cinnamon in the thing, so... Yes. Yeah. Let me see how much you're cutting. Not too much. I, oh, I don't care. <laughs> I just want it to look good. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys. So, I'm home now, obviously. Just lying down in bed. Um, I wasn't lying down the whole time, promise. <laughs> I ate dinner. And thank you, dear. Rudy gave me a wafer. So, that's why my face was dirty. But he saved the day. Thank you, dear. So, I wanted to get your professional opinion on my hair. What do you think? I like how it is after you got it done. Yeah, like, do you like it? What do you think about it? I do. I, I like it. I mean, yeah, you got it trimmed. The trim looks very nice. Like, your ends look... I don't even know how to explain it, but it's like... Whew. That's actually the part that I don't like. I don't like the way my ends looked. I, yeah, I kind of wish but, it were layered instead of, like, I mean, I blunt. I don't know what... Later can you like pull means. my hair to the front like push my hair to the front so yeah i mean it looks it looks a lot healthier than it did before and so i really like that but i don't like the way that it looks in a ponytail it looks really uneven and i feel like if it had just been cut in layers and somebody messaged me on instagram too she said that if i just took off a couple more inches then it would just look more full and i i, I agree like if i just like cut off probably two inches off the top half of my hair then it would look layered and it would look more full so but i mean you have time to still make that decision though right yeah but yeah, you i can just make that decision anytime. i just can't do it myself and i don't know if my hairdresser knows yeah, how don't, to do that don't do it yourself actually hairdresser and um right now it looks better than it did before actually. yeah, yeah for so. sure like it looks a million times better it doesn't look it still looks thin, but it doesn't look obviously thin like it did before, so I'm really happy. And I'm also happy that Rudy likes it. The last time I cut my hair this short was when I was like three weeks pregnant in December 2012. That was the first pregnancy ever. I didn't know I was pregnant at the time, but I just wanted a change. And I cut my hair this short, 
and yeah so it's kind of weird that i'm here seven years later with the same haircut but why is that weird i don't know like that time you know was just a very weird time for me it's i just always look back at it and i'm just like eh. it's not really i don't really have good memories of that time so um yeah guys so thank you so much for watching this vlog i feel like it's kind of long have no idea but thanks for watching it anyway i uh, hope that you're following us on all our social media all of those links can be found in the description below and we will talk to you next time goodbye Yeah. It's okay. I'm not. I know I'm not. <laughs>